let's talk about candle warmers. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. Today, we'll be having a discussion on this beauty here, the Angelo Candle Lamp Warmer from Hestia. I didn't realize just how many of you were candle lamp warmers until I talked about the first one on the channel. I think that conversation happened last year, so it's been a while since I thoroughly talked about one. I also get a lot of comments on other videos showing favor for candle warmers instead of burning, which I totally understand and respect. Let me know if you prefer candle warmers instead of burning. I mean, I understand the love for them because there are so many benefits like not having to worry about sudden open flames to having subtle candles perform a little better from the hot throw. I'm a huge fan of them as I mentioned in many videos since then. The first candle kind of warmer I reviewed was from Hastier as well. So when the Hastier team reached out and asked if they could send over their new candle kind of warmer called the Angelo, well, it was a no burner. I've had the other one a little over a year and I absolutely love it. So I was excited to add this version as a tool to my ever-growing candle collection. I was talking with the team and didn't realize this, but they told me Hastia was the first brand to introduce candle warmers to the market on Amazon. And soon after, there was an influx of other candle warmers, of course. The focus for the Angelo warmer is to provide a minimal yet elegant design that would complement any home decor style. The inspiration behind this design actually comes from the iconic David sculpture by Michelangelo, hence the name Angelo for the warmer. Now, the David sculpture isn't minimal by any means. It's an incredible work of art, a masterpiece. But at the same time, it has this minimal form with elegance that makes it a timeless piece. For example, the modern Mercedes has all of this amazing technology that fits in with today's time, but in another 20 to 30 years, it will be extremely outdated. Now, let's take Bugattis. They design their cars with a timeless mindset. That's why you won't see any screens or over-the-top technology in their cars. They want their cars to have a timeless feel to them. The Angelo Candle Warmer has the same philosophy, a minimal form with elegance. Now, let me ask you, what space do you see this candle warmer being in, especially with this white color? It comes in black as well. Both colors have this nice matte finish to them that goes along with the design focus. One of the things I like about this particular warmer is the added level of a cozy, comfortable feel to a space. The minimal design of this warmer is honestly great for any decor style, but if you want to get technical, I can see this being in a minimal styled space with other minimal elements or a modern contemporary style space. Maybe have this on a nice credenza or a coffee table or have it on a shelf with other decor items and small sculptures. I don't normally go for white decor items in my space, but I have to admit, this looks really good in my space, right in the middle of my coffee table while relaxing watching Abbott Elementary, one of my favorite shows to watch right now. Aww. That's crazy. <laughs> I even asked the pizza. The build quality is a strong 9 out of 10 for a few reasons. I really like the large circular base of this warmer. It doesn't have a wobble to it like it can tip over if it's accidentally bumped. If it does get knocked over, it was done forcefully. The base has small rubber pads underneath it as well to make sure it doesn't move or slip while it's sitting on the surface. The last thing you want is for this to go flying with a candle on it from an accidental bump from little ones or pets. The indentation on the base is fairly large to accommodate various widths of candle vessels. And the adjustable height of the arm is a great thing to have for making sure candles with different heights fit perfectly. If it doesn't have a height adjustable arm, it's a deal breaker for me. I have to be able to adjust the height to make sure I get adequate melts. You gotta have those adequate melts. If you don't, then what's the point? I'm telling you now, this can fit almost any size candle you throw at it. From the small sizes in the collection, and shockingly, it fit the very large Paul Smith candle. It was a little too large for the base, but it fit perfect under the lamp at full height. I won't be using this warmer with that larger of a candle, but it's good to know that I'm safe with any kind of standard size candle you got to have those adequate melts. Now, something I wish I had that was missing on the other warmer that I now have with this one is the timer feature. <laughs> I am so grateful for this. I never really knew how bad I needed this feature until I got it. I used to just set a timer on my phone to <laughs> remind me to check on the warmer after a couple of hours. But with the timer, I don't have to do that anymore. And now I can't go back. After the time is up, the warmer automatically shuts off. Nice. 
This still does have a constant on mode along with three different timers, one hour, two hour, and four hours, and a notch to set the intensity of the light. Theoretically, the lower the time, the more intense you want the light to be to melt the top layer of wax quickly and evenly, and vice versa with the four hour timer, you can have the light intensity a little dimmer to let the wax simmer for a while. It all depends on how much time you have. Using a warmer is like being in control of the candle. When you're burning, you have to wait a couple of hours for the top layer of wax to melt. There's pretty much nothing you can do besides wait unless you break out the foil to speed up the process a little quicker. And with the warmer, you have a little more control on how long you want the candle to burn. Just set the timer and the light intensity correctly and you'll be good to go. This light can get pretty bright. On its highest intensity, it may take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes for a full surface melt. I honestly don't use this on the highest intensity. I honestly find this to be too intense and melt way too quickly. The sweet spot is right in the middle, perfect for the two to four hour time limit. It won't melt too quick, so the scent will have time to fill the space. With the time limit, you can technically use this in a bedroom on the nightstand with a good warm scent to go to sleep with. Since it automatically shuts off, you don't have to worry about going to sleep on an open flame. And an incredible point a few of you brought to my attention that I forgot to mention in the last candle warmer video is when it comes to the wax and if you have to pour it out. This is for my people who are new to candle warmers or even if you use candle warmers exclusively. Something I don't think too many people realize when it comes to candle warmers is that there isn't anything actually burning the wax down. It's just melting the top layer of wax over and over. It's not like you're burning the candle where the flame is burning down the wax. Eventually, the top layer of wax will have to be discarded because after a while, it'll begin to lose its scent. So what do you do? If you've been using a particular candle with the warmer for a few cycles, what some of you recommended who are primarily candle warmer users and I also agree on is burning the candle to burn off the top layer of wax. This will make sure that there's always a fresh top layer of wax when using a warmer. This is such a fantastic idea. So it may look something like using the warmer five times and burning once, then back to using the warmer for the next five times and so on. Let me know if this is something that you already have in place when it comes to using warmers. Again, this is if you're heavily using a warmer or if you plan on implementing it more into your daily routine. If you mainly burn candles, like I do, then you don't have to worry about this whatsoever. I do enjoy warmers for one of their greatest benefits, and that's never having to deal with uneven melts or tunneling. I think I can speak for anyone who burns candles daily. Uneven burns and tunneling, they sneak up on you out of nowhere. And it happens when you least expect it to. If I notice the very edges of the wax isn't melted, I'll just pop it under the warmer for a session and the wax will be nice and even 100% of the time. This is probably the only thing I would guarantee to work for anyone. This is an extremely helpful tool for me, for that reason alone. While we're having this conversation about warmers, I want to cover a question that I get a lot about if a top-down warmer is better than a warmer that melts from the bottom. I will personally pick a top-down warmer every single time for a couple very important reasons. For one, a bottom warmer is melting the precious wax from the bottom. Matter of fact, let's use this stack of coasters as a bottom warmer, for example. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is basically ruining the candle because when you're melting the wax from the bottom, there's no way to communicate to the top layer of wax to melt. In my head, everything is kind of happening in reverse of how it should be. And two, it wouldn't be able to help if you need to fix tunneling issues, which is one of the best benefits of using a top-down warmer. It just makes sense to me. I know some of you are fans of bottom warmers, so let me know if I'm wrong on this. For me, I see it as bottom warmers are great for wax melts and top-down warmers are great for candle use. I could be wrong, let me know. I like to refer the different candle accessories like wick trimmers, wick dippers, my favorite, and candle warmers as tools because they truly help with cutting out the unnecessary work with helping in their own unique ways. They all have a function that they perform extremely well without trying to find alternative methods. I like to think I know myself well enough to know finding alternative methods usually does not work out for me. It took TikTok hacks to show me that I don't need to try to build a house with two strings and a piece of recycled wood I found in my backyard. Just buy the house. The Angelo candle warmer is everything I need when it comes to giving my space a different warm inviting atmosphere with form and function. The minimal design aesthetic is something I can keep out in the open without looking out of place. 
If you're a fan of candle warmers, let me know how often you use them, or if you're a fan of the Hessier warmer, let me know how you like it. If you're wondering, I am forever a candle burner type of guy. A flame cannot be replaced for me, but a warmer is a great addition, a tool to use every once in a while when I'm in the mood for something different.